Well, this is this is something I've been curious about because the, there's been a lot of criticism, and I know for myself, um, I, I I have a hard time believing this. Um, you see these these masters and grandmasters now that are claiming to be able to knock people down and cause physical harm to people using exclusively their chi, their no touch knockout where they use their chi and they knock them down. I know that, you know, and again, in my, in my limited experience in life, I've never seen that work and I've trained with a lot of people. What are your thoughts on that kind of thing? Well, I tell you what, I did five seminars for George, Sh- George Dillman. Uh. <clears throat> and when it comes to that segment, they, they did their own thing and everybody that did that had a big stomach. Uh. What does that mean? I said, well, you must find your tea in the summer because. <laughs> and, and so anyway, I was doing. I, you know, George, not a good friend. He invited me to uh, do the seminar, and we come my uh, my segment. Uh, I don't do no hocus pocus. I said, we're gonna we're gonna learn jabs, hooks, and uppercut combinations, and kicks and all that. And so he had one student that was, you know, following me around, and I said, hey, uh, why don't you try to knock me out without touching me? I said, go ahead, you know, or, or try to hit me. Well, before he could get to something off, I punched him. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I punched him in the stomach. I didn't want him in the head. So he said, I, I said, now, you see, if I hit you there, how are you going to hit me with, uh, with your pressure point uh, knockout? He said, oh, I see. So he went and told George, and I was there. He said, George, Leo's got the idea. Said you need to learn how to box and do some jab. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, okay. So if you're friends with Dillman, so this is something too because I have a lot of connections with Dillman as well um, through various friends, and you know, one degree of separation. We everybody kind of knows everybody. Um, I know that he started. You know, he he had a, a great career as a karate practitioner and worked with uh, Muhammad Ali and a lot of other people. Um, you know, I think he's kind of at the forefront of that no touch knockout type of thing. But where where does this come from? I, I just don't I don't understand how it's gained so much traction. I don't want to talk about the man's character or anything, but it's just I don't understand. I don't understand. You know what I mean? Like I'm missing something. You can uh, I'm gonna say this and you can draw your conclusion. Mm. I said, George, you're such a good salesman, you can sell refrigerators and Eskimos. <laughs> And he left. He's a good salesman. One day, I was at his house when he started this day. That was back in uh, the 80s. Uh, it started, uh, he said, hey, Leo, come here. I, I've been studying this uh, nerve stuff. Come here. Let me, let me try it. I said, no, George, I don't want you to hit me. I said, you go hit uh, hit, hit uh, Alan over there. Uh, so he said, Alan, come on. So he whacked him up uh, under the ear, and the guy went down in the couch. And I said, well, no, I don't let anybody experiment on me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there is validity to these, these, you know, attacking these certain pressure points. I mean, we all, you know, it seems like fighting is part of manipulating pressure points. I mean, you punch somebody in the jaw and it presses their jaw back into arterial. When Mike Tyson hits you under the ear, you're going to go. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. So, so, but what they do is they do it with their, four, with their fingers you know, the knuckles, mm. and they hit hard. Mm. Uh, it's not a tap. Yeah. So it, you got students that are willing to, to go through that. And then, I, you know, I said, it's kind of stupid. You know, you keep getting knocked out, it ain't going to be too good for your brains. Mm. Well, <laughs> this is true. Maybe maybe some of them just got hit in the head a little bit too much, just and now they think, you know, they can. a little bit slower every time. <laughs> so, so out of your. Larry used to go with him everywhere. And I said, hey, George, what happened to Larry? I haven't seen him around. He said, <laughs> like that. I said, he passed away. He said, yeah. <laughs> Wait, oh what? what? <laughs> he died? Yeah, he died. Larry is only about 30 years old. <laughs> and he used to, Larry, Larry is stupid. He used to hang out at his house. And, and, and I think George hit him so many times like a pen cook. <laughs> God. That's so bad. Irreparable damage. That's I know. Way to take oh. people out. Well, there you go. So whether or not they can knock you out without touching you, if you let them whack you in the neck enough times, I touch you. Because, uh, I know he. Uh, you see, he got on uh, National Geog- Geog- 
National Geographic's. Okay, uh, Leon J. You know he became a pretty nice guy later, but he used to be cocky when he had this. He believed that he could knock you out without touching. So they got him on National Geographic. So he said, "I not only knock you out without touching you, I can knock you out behind a curtain, put a curtain in there." So he he tried that on on National Geographic, and it didn't work. And so he said, "Well, sometimes it works on some people, sometimes it don't." <laughs> and then the guy who was hosting the thing said, why don't you try it on me? And so the, 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 he put his microphone down and he tried on him and nothing happened. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, that's the, okay. Well, that, 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 that it's kind the of. the sale. That's, that's it. That's what he that's said. That's it. What is up, guys? Did you enjoy that video? I know you did. If you want to watch the full version, check the descriptions box below. There will be a link to the full episode of the Marshall Media Podcast. And of course, as always, hit subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out.